Monday, August 30th, out here at a different city park that I haven't been to yet this year. And I believe I just flipped a Merc. Haven't really looked at it yet closely, but I seen the back here. There we go. Mercury Dime. That's uh, my number 30 silver on the year, I believe. Very nice. Let's see if I can pull out something else before it gets dark. Alright, Saturday, September 2nd, I'm out here at the park again. And I've only been here maybe a half an hour and I think that I just pulled another silver. And it's a Merc. Very nice. On the board for September, that's my first one. And silver number 31 on the year. Let's see what else we can get. Alright, back out at a park again. Yesterday all I found was that Mercury Dime. Turns out the date was 1942. Um, first interesting find today here was this. At first I couldn't um, make out what it said and I guess it's just a little piece of cheap junk jewelry and it says class of 2005. When it came out of the dirt I thought it was something older until I put it all together and that's all it is let's keep digging so I mostly been digging just um, clad and a, a couple wheat pennies and then I just uh, got this lock here it says Chateau on it never heard of that brand and um, I thought I was digging another clad penny here, and I did get a ring. I don't expect that it's silver. I've uh, dug two other rings just like this um, a year or so ago at the same field. So that's interesting. Maybe they gave them away at school or something. I'm not sure. But this is the third ring like this that I found from the same field. So, rings are always fun. Let's see if we can get anything else. Alright, a few weeks ago here I won Michael Lyman's uh, contest, the Pay It Forward contest. And my goal here is to take these coins that he sent me and redistribute them out into the field for a future metal detectorist to find. And he sent me a nice bicentennial uh, silver dollar, not silver, but a, a bicentennial dollar coin and some foreign coins. And, uh, this is who Michael is. He's M.A. Lyman 24 on YouTube. And um, I decided to add some stuff of my own to the mix here. I'm going to complete the bicentennial set by adding a half dollar and a quarter. 
and I grabbed a few wheat pennies and a local to me token, a Buttons Arcade Syracuse, New York token, and a war nickel and a little silver rosy. I'm going to throw throw it all in this Altoids tin here. I wrap it up in some plastic. And I have a little note here that I wrote out. Congrats on finding our little treasure tin. This was buried in September 2017 with the hopes that some some other detectorist finds it in the future. Enjoy and let us know if and when this gets discovered. Mike and Brian. So, let's have some fun. Let's go get this buried. Okay, I'm out here at one of the more hunted parks around. Um, I have my package here. It's all strapped in tape. The coins are in baggies inside. I'm um, gonna put it in the hole. There it goes. And I'll see what this reads. How sweet of a signal it is. Well, you'll definitely hear a signal. It's kind of all over the place, um, being in the tin. It has half dollars, silver dollars, pennies, everything in there. So it's jumping around. Whoever, whoever ends up digging this will have to be somebody who really is digging everything because it probably sounds like a uh, big old can or something. So we'll see how long this lasts. Let's pay it forward. From M.A. Lyman and you're digging it. 